right guys, today we're going to try to quiet that engine down with these two items right here. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we're going to try to quiet this down. We've got this motor medic flush. Now, what you got to do is you dump this into your oil, or you know where your oil goes. Dump it into your engine. Whoops! Try not to spill it like I did. But you dump this down in there, and it's supposed to go all through your engine, clean out any gunk and junk. Now, what you do with this stuff is you let your car idle and put it in a cold engine, and you let let your vehicle idle. For five minutes then you change your oil now what a day whatever anyway and you put no oil in now what I'm going to do is when I change your oil I'm going to add this to it so it's supposed to quiet noisy lifters and that's what we've got here so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start this up and let it idle for five minutes and then I'll get back with you. So hang tight guys. Okay guys, we're back. We're getting ready to put this stuff here in. This Rizalone. And the other stuff I put in, the uh the Motomatic stuff. Now I forgot to tell you, do not rev up the vehicle. Just let it idle for five minutes. Don't drive it, don't rev it up. You might be tempted to, but don't do it. Now, I also I have you I have used uh, automatic transmission fluid before. Put a quart of that in. Run the engine for five or ten minutes. I usually go between that, maybe around seven minutes, and uh, it pretty much does it. I'm guessing the same thing, but I have used uh, transmission fluid before. So we're going to put this in first, and then we're going to go ahead and fill it up with oil now this you can use this stuff when you're just topping it off you don't have to drain it or change your oil after this but if this works I will change the oil again but um, you don't have to or like if you're if your vehicle holds five quarts of oil you can put a quart of this in and four quarts of oil as well so let me grab the oil here. Okay. Now it's hot down here in Florida. These cars run hot all the time, but I always like to uh, say up north. In the summertime, I run 10W40. In the winter time, I run 10W30. Same way with my my lawn mowers. But down here, I'm gonna run 40 weight all the time so let's go ahead and dump this in here it's just a cheap brim because like I said this works I'm going to change it again I'll put good stuff in it but it's like $35 for five quarts this was $16 for five quarts so I can't put it all in because this is five quarts and I think this engine holds four and a half. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, and I put a quart of that in there, so I'm going to leave leave about a quart in here. Because I don't want to overfill it. If you overfill it by a quart, it is probably worse than running it a quart low on oil. Then we'll start it up and let it run a little bit and see how it sounds. Every time, sorry about the traffic, but you guys know, every stinking time. I was out here, I drained the oil. Also, you know, the engine was warm, so the oil was warm, so I let it really drain out good. I uh, probably let it set. See, here goes another car. Probably for half an hour, 45 minutes, not one car went up the road. I turned this camera on. It's like a damn parade. It's annoying. I know, I know. 
Well, there's nothing you can do about it. They have the right. I understand that, but it's just my luck. I'm not irritated at, at the people by no means. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, you know, it's just my luck, you know? Also, guys, the last video, sorry about all the cutting and the bad camera work, but it was just one of them things, man, you know, nothing was going right, batteries going dead, and uh, so I had to change the camera and use a different camera. Uh, I also ran out of disk space on this one, so I had to get another disk and put in it. So I don't know what all I got for you, but I hope I helped you. Let's go ahead and check it. That should be pretty close. Pretty close to the full mark. Excuse me. Alright. See what we got here. Just a smidgen above. I think it'll be fine. There's that. Put the dipstick back in. Let's start this thing up. And let it run a minute and see if it made any difference at all okay guys I'm gonna leave you right there point you at the engine and let's see what happens all right here we go so let's let it build up uh, let the oil and everything get through there like it should and see if it's quieted down any at all after we let it run for a few minutes. So I'll be right back with you. Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys. There we go. It did quiet it down significantly. It's a lot, lot better. So if you just got a minor little tap, it's probably going to work for you. But this one, I think what I'll do is I think I'll pull the lifters out and check them before I change the engine. Um, the thing does not smoke or anything, but, and see what happens there, so, anyway guys, so there you go, it did quiet it down, it quieted it down a whole lot, so, let's see what happens, you know, it may get better, may not, I don't know, but it was worth a try, you know, I mean, I got seven, say 14 bucks in it, so, you know, if it don't work, big deal, alright guys, that being said, there's another video for you. Thanks for watching. Remember, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone. Bye-bye, guys.